Hello class, uh, my name is Edmund E.K. It's been great being part of this class. So I'm here to do my project presentation on the effective uh, training program. All right. Uh, before I do that, I'll give a little bit of introduction. I'm sorry about a little glitch, uh, a little bit of introduction uh, about this, uh, this presentation. Uh, I worked as a supervisor in a multi uh, cuisine restaurant. The restaurant offers a variety of fast food products uh, such as burger, pizza, uh, fries, and many more assortments. Well, nowadays, the restaurant is struggling with numbers of problems such as decrease in the number of customers, reduce efficiency in the uh, an employee's dis dissatisfaction. The main reason behind this problem is ineffective training program. Uh, so to delve more into the problem, I'll say Every day, the employees have to deal with different conditions, and it is it is really difficult to tackle those situations without proper training. Uh, it is uh, it has been observed for the past year or so that employees are facing a number of issues related to their training and its quality. Hence, the problem statement for this uh, project is ineffective training programs adversely affecting numbers of customers and efficiency of uh, employees. The impact of this problem is that the population, I mean the popularity, excuse me, the popularity of the restaurants is decreasing with every day pass because employees of the restaurants joining are not comparable to other big names in the market. Uh, three years back, like in the year 2013, the number of customers visiting the restaurant in a week was around three, 350, contributing to a revenue of 15,000 to about 17,500 in total. Uh, it decreased to about 225 customers a week and about uh, 10,500 uh, in the year 2015. Apart from this, the cost of running the restaurant also increase in the year 2015 which kind of contributed to reduce profit overall. Uh, uh, apart from that, also have the reputation of the restaurant have fallen down recently and kind of project a negative image of the restaurant and uh, uh, affecting the, the, the revenue and uh, as well. And not just that, uh, uh, due to this affected revenue that the profit have declined, so the restaurant is thinking about cutting out training from from the overall uh, uh, running of the business, which is not a great idea. So anyway, the objective of the study is the uh, is to explore all those reasons which are leading to ineffective training program. The study also aims to find out ways by which training programs can be improved. Uh, the other, in other words, the purpose of the study is to highlight the major issues contributing to the diluted image of the restaurant, the reduced quality of service, and the reason for not earning profit. Uh, that leads us to the research question. Uh, and these questions include what are the factors contributing to diminishing quality of service in the restaurant? What are the effects of the training provided to the new employees and how to improve the service quality as well as effectiveness of training? The hypothesis for this project is, uh, the null hypothesis is that states that the training directly affects product 
productivity and efficiency of the employees, while the alternative hypothesis uh, states that the training does not affect productivity and efficiency of employees. Uh, and uh, to put that in, in other terms, we'll have to consider what are the dependent and independent variables. And here, training, training is the independent variable because it will remain the same irrespective of any change in the dependent variable. Productivity and efficiency of employees are dependent variable in this case. It means that these factors can be changed with a change in training program. In other words, the independent variable causes change on the dependent variable. Uh, data collection uh, data collection method include uh, observations, focus groups, interviews, questionnaires and surveys. Uh, personal interviews and questionnaires method were used to collect the data from the, for this research. Uh, two types of interview was, in, it was used here. Uh, that is a structured and the open interview uh, to understand the problem in a much better, that will help us understand the problem in a much better way. Uh, the questionnaire consists of 10 questions and out of this seven questions were objective type and three questions were descriptive type. The questionnaire was designed to be short to make it convenient for respondents. The questionnaire was circulated through emails and in form of printed copies. The questionnaire was completed by 80 out of 100 respondents. And uh, data analysis. For the data analysis in this project, well, uh, we use the Z test uh, was, uh, for this analysis. So, Z test was performed using Microsoft Excel uh, to know the difference between the means of the two populations. It is a kind of hypothesis test which is used to examine the results as repetitive or not. The, the test uh, is used when sample size is large, that is uh, more or equal to 30, uh, and variants are known. Uh, in this case, you know, in this study, we'll have a sample size of 80, so that means Z test is very suitable. The hypothesis, as we mentioned later in the analysis that we performed, led us to this uh, result. You can see uh, for the Z result for the uh, hypothesis one, or which is our null hypothesis, and the Z test result on, that's on the on my left side. And then on my right side, you see the Z test result for the hypothesis two, and you can see. It various variable and the z test here is a negative value what the z test and the null hypothesis is a positive value of 1.354451 anyway this result uh, leads us to make some recommendations this recommendations include that effective training is essential for restaurants employees and the restaurant managers uh, needs to uh, define uh, the, the need of training and set goals for the same need. And uh, the company also the company also need to have short-term and long-term goals set and define an effective training program. Uh, specific modules of training needs to be developed based on the needs and goals. Uh, employees needs to be identified for training and we also need to train them in groups to avoid clashes of, of skills. Uh, the training should be interactive to make it interesting. Yes, trust me, interactive trainings are always interesting. Uh, if you just go through uh, boring, uninterested training, that is also going to affect uh, the, the quality of training of the employees, which we're trying to improve here. It should end with feedback form. Yeah, so we need the feedback for the training, so that, that will help determine which way modification of 
to be done here or there in the training to make the training better and better in the future. And all employees need to participate or complete these feedback forms. So, in conclusion, it is necessary that every new employee joining the organization will be able to follow the rules and regulations and will get accustomed to the organizational work culture. Uh, it requires at least a basic training and induction program for the newly joined employees. The restaurant business witness, uh, witnesses large, I mean, regular changes. Hence, the shelves also need to be innovative in offering new dishes every time there is a demand for a new dish. Retraining may be required to the employees who has uh, been with the organization for a very long time because of the ever-changing needs and demands of the customers. So I guess that makes perfect sense because if you've been there for too long and you're not up, uh, up to date with the new uh, technology used in restaurants these days, that will affect uh, the, the, the productivity and efficiency level and attention to the customer's demand. So, and that is probably the end of my presentation for this project. And here is my references. And I hope you truly enjoyed this presentation. Thank you very much. And uh, have a lovely day.